Morning guys, we're on Colossians chapter 3, we're reading from verse 15 to 17, and it says, And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. And so, the peace of Christ, um, we in Romans 5 verse 1, it talks about the that we are um, have a peace with God through Jesus Christ. And so Jesus Christ has made a way for us to be reconciled with God. God no longer um, is angry with us. His wrath is not poured out on us. And so we have a peace because of um, being justified. Our sins have been dealt with. And so God is no longer angry uh, for us as sinners if we in Jesus Christ. But there's also a peace that rules in your heart when you apply these principles that are here in Colossians 3, putting off all that sinful behavior, putting on that list of uh, fruits of the Spirit. And when we're walking in that way, which is basically walking in the Spirit, then there's automatically going to have a peace that comes in our hearts. And that peace is in all circumstances. So even when things go bad, there'll be a peace that's in our hearts. You know, a tornado can come um, you could lose all your stuff like Job, but if you're in Christ and walking in His ways and being filled with the Spirit, you'll automatically be at peace that, that comes in your heart. And that's one of the um, fruits of the Spirit. So it says, um, Then let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, in which indeed you are called in one body, and be thankful. And so we are called into this. God called us. God saved us. And when we... Um, look at this in eternal things what god has done for us we we uh, have a place in heaven um we're going to be with him one day in glory and and honor we have to be thankful and so we need to be thankful 1 thessalonians 5 says in all circumstances so even when you lose everything uh, you may lose your job you may lose your health um, when we are in the spirit we can be thankful in every single circumstance because our eyes are now fixed on eternal things they're no longer fixed on the things around us which are temporal money assets houses etc but when we look at what we have eternally we have to be thankful and the spirit of god enables us to be thankful even in those situ situations when our, when we're very sick and we, when we've lost everything and he goes on to say in verse 16 let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And there again is the word thankfulness in your hearts to God. And so um, we're going to spend a bit more time in the next couple of days on this, this verse because this opens up um, a whole new um, parallel scripture in Ephesians 5 verse 18, which leads into, as we follow from Colossians 3.16, we'll also follow from Ephesians 5.18, because the exact same points are represented in both books. And this point regarding dwelling, um, let the word of Christ, that's God's scripture, dwell in you richly, is parallel to um it says in five, ephesians 5 18 do not get drunk with wine but be filled with the spirit and so as we go through this we're going to look at these principles so we've put off we put on christ we give thanks this is all god's will um and this is something that uh, we need to be focusing on and that is being walking and being filled with the spirit and so um even uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 18 says give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God so we're very clearly we know what God's will is um, even when I'm just going to give a quick prelude to um, Ephesians 5 Ephesians 5 verse 7, 17 says do not be foolish but understand what the will of the Lord is and so we need to understand what the will of the Lord is and as we're going through these scriptures and as we're going through the word God is revealing His will, and so we need to now be walking in that will. Amen.